What does that even mean, Bowers Game Corner? Ahoy there, YouTube! I'm back again today for another game review. It's very exciting to check it out Photosynthesis from Blue Orange Games. This is for two to four players, ages eight plus. will take about 45 to 60 minutes to play. And Photosynthesis is a very interesting engine building game, kind of, in which you are going to be planting seeds and then growing those seeds into trees and larger trees and larger trees, and then eventually killing off those trees for victory points. But while those trees are out there, they're going to gain you valuable life life points and potentially if you have bigger trees block other people's light which steals their life points from them what am i talking about it's a very interesting premise very thematic game but is it good let's open it up and i'll tell you what i think all right then we're going to take a look at what you're going to get inside of photosynthesis before we get started i do want to mention that my rules obviously are a promotional copy of the rules but i think everything else component wise is final so first of all we have a handy dandy rule booklet yours is going to be four pages double-sided full color full pictures illustrations examples it's a very simple to understand game and rule booklet so big thumbs up on the rule booklet also i can give you a real feel for how the game is played right now because it is a very straightforward simple game so in photosynthesis you are going to try to get the most victory points by growing your trees from teeny tiny little seeds to small trees to medium trees to large trees and then eventually killing off those trees in order to gain victory points. As you go towards the center of the board, uh, which is going to be more difficult obviously than growing a tree on the outside, you're going to gain more victory points. The victory points are going to be over here and they will progressively go down. So the first person who kills off a tree in a four leaf area, which is the one right in the middle, gets 22, 21, 20. So you wanna try and kill your trees off faster, but having those trees out there is going to give you more light points, which are what you're going to do to grow trees and plant seeds and do all different sorts of things like that. What am I talking about? Let's show you the components, let's get in the gameplay, and you'll quickly understand what's going on. So first, we have a really cool board right here. It's going to have one, two, three, four leaves on here. And at the beginning of the game, you're going to set out two of your small trees. You're going to start off with a little pool of stuff that you will have for free that you'll have over there. Actually, I'm missing a couple things that uh, you start off with for free. But you're going to have free stuff that you can put from here to there out. Now... On your player board right here are things that you can purchase. Think of it like a tree thrift shop, I guess. So you can purchase seeds, and that's going to be pretty cheap to purchase seeds. You can purchase the small trees, which are going to be pretty cheap as well. Then you get the medium trees all the way up to the big trees, which will cost you up to five light points, which is a lot of light points in this game. Down here, it's going to show you the actions you can take on your turn. And there's really only going to be about two actions you're going to take on your turn, which is to grow trees or to spread your seeds. Uh, and it all works pretty thematically well, which I, I'll talk more about the pros and the cons. So let's go over the different stages of the game. So the first thing you're gonna do is the photosynthesis synthesis phase, which is where you are going to get light points based on how many trees you have out here. So a small tree is gonna get you one light point, a medium tree is gonna get you two light points, and a large tree is going to get you three light points. But it's not that easy because a large tree will cover up smaller trees' lights. Because let's say, for instance, uh, this was right here. Then obviously, if that's right there, that green tree is going to get three light points, but the smaller tree is only going to get zero light points because of the way the sun is pointing. And this is really big. So this is going to be moving around the board. And once it's gone completely around the board, that's when you've gone through a year of the game. You go through three years, and whoever has the most points will be the winner. But as you can see, it's going to slowly move around the board, so the light is going to be pointing in different directions, which really adds a unique aspect to the game. So for this particular phase, this would be a poor phase for us because we would only get one light point because that is taking all of our light. So we'd go up one on the point track, and now we can spend our valuable light points. Now, the other thing is you can you can use these two actions down here, or you can save them, kind of build it up to do something big later on in the game. This is most definitely an engine-building game in that aspect where you're going to try and decide, do I want short-term games now, or do I want to just kind of save up my points so I can do some bigger stuff maybe later on? So the actions you can take are you can spread seeds, and that's going to cost you light points. So so if you want to spread a seed, it's going to cost you one light point to do it, and seeds can spread, uh, let's see if that's in the camera, yeah, one spot away on smaller trees, up to two spots away on the medium trees, and up to three spots away from the larger trees. So for instance, if I want to spend my one light point, I can boop, put that right there, 
and now I have an extra seed that is planted out on the board. You also can spend your light points to upgrade seeds to trees and trees to larger trees, and that tells you exactly how much it's going to cost you right here. So obviously upgrading a larger tree is going to cost you four light points, which is a lot of light points. So first thing you're going to do is you're going to get your light points, and then you're going to spend your life points in what's called the life cycle phase, and you will do that one at a time. Once everybody's taking their turn, the first player token is going to be passed. This will move, and you're going to once again rinse, wash, and repeat, collecting your life points, uh, upgrading your trees, spreading your seeds, eventually getting you know from smaller to medium to larger trees, and then killing off those trees. Well, once you do that, you will gain valuable victory points at the end of the game. And after you've gone through three years of the game, or four years of the game, you're playing the advanced version of the game, tally up your points, you get uh, points for having these tokens right here, and I think it's one victory point for every three light tokens. It's not really a viable way to get points, and whoever has the most points will be the winner of Photosynthesis, and that, in a nutshell, is how the game is played. Alrighty then, Photosynthesis from Blue Orange Games. What are my final thoughts? Let's go over the pros, let's go over the cons. First, on the con side, game's not going to be for everybody for a variety of different reasons. Two to four players, er, restricted player count. Now, that being said, I still liked it at two players, but I liked it best at three and four players because there was just a little bit more player interaction with uh, trees blocking smaller trees, and it really made you think a little bit more about where you were going to place your trees and how, you know, what maybe the next phase was going to be and when you want to upgrade trees and various different aspects like that. Uh, but still, I liked it at two players as well. Another con that I have with this game is that it is a very light, simple game, which will be a turnoff to some people. In this game, all you're going to do is you're either going to uh, spread your seeds or you're going to upgrade things. And that's pretty much what you're going to do, just over and over and over again. Now, luckily, the game does not outstay its welcome, even though I will say... With that fourth year, I feel like it stretches out a little bit longer, but that is the advanced variant of the game. I was perfectly happy with the three years, but I could see people really wanting that fourth year because, you know, in an engine building game, you always want more time most of the time. And this, in, at its core, is somewhat of an engine building game. This is actually a very interesting game because it's like engine building, but it's also abstracty. Like, it feels like it's a little bit of an abstract strategy game. But at the same time, the theme works so well thematically that you don't really notice that it's an abstract strategy game. It's, it's a very interesting thing. You know, when, when I review abstract strategy games, I normally don't say pretty much anything about the theme except for it's not there. But this game has the exact opposite, which is, it's very interesting. Uh, any other cons that I have with the game? You know, just that simple factor. I wish maybe there was a little bit more meat on the bones, a little, another action you could do. I wish there was maybe a way you could sabotage people's trees or something like that. Maybe in a future expansion. I don't know. Uh, but moving on to the pros, I really enjoyed Photosynthesis. And I don't have too many cons with the game because there's not that much game there, but in a good way. It's a very light, simple, family weight game. But at the same time, this still has enough meat and enough interesting decisions, especially with how you can block other people's light, that... It's still a good game night game, and I really can't recommend this for just about anybody as long as you're in the market for a two to four player game. Like I said, I liked it at two players as well, so I think it's a rock solid two player game. But what did I like about the game? First and foremost, I don't like the theme. I personally don't care about trees or growing trees or spreading my seeds or any of that stuff there. But I appreciated how well done the theme was in this game. They overproduced this game to make the theme shine more and they succeeded. So if you do like the theme, I immediately think you're gonna be attracted to this game. And I think you're gonna like this game. But the fact that they were able to hide the fact that this is really an abstract strategy game is very impressive. Uh, the rules were very well done. There are only, I think, four pages. It's probably gonna be double-sided, so it's gonna be a very short rule booklet. It's easy to learn, it's easy to teach, which is always a good thing. And I think it's a great family weight game. I think it's a great game night game if you hit the smaller player counts. I think this is a good couple game, as long as you don't mind the fact that there is a little bit of meanness in where you place the trees. It's not too much. It's not a take that game by any stretch of the imagination, uh, but yeah. I really enjoyed photosynthesis more than I was expecting. I didn't. I do not like the theme, but I do like the game, and I definitely can recommend the game. And if you like the theme, I think you're really going to enjoy this game. That being said, of the three games they released, which is Vikings on Board, uh, Photosynthesis, and New York 1901, I still think this one is like right here with Vikings on Board for me personally. And I think New York or New York 1901 is still a better game. But this is a rock solid game that I definitely can recommend if you like the theme. If you enjoyed this video, please be sure to click on that subscribe button down below in the comments below. Let 
me know elevators or escalators which one would you prefer for me personally i like the escalators better unless it's a glass elevator i like i like glass elevators where you can kind of see all around you and the best is when they have the glass floors but elevators or escalators which one do you prefer and as always thanks for your time youtube